Hi, hello. So today I'm getting ready to go to the spa of Walden and I'm very excited. Uh, it's kind of like a day spa type thing and I heard about it because my client was talking about it. Oh, it's empty. Hang on. Her husband got her a package here and I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. So I guess you have your own little suite and in the suite there's like a jet tub. And I think with every hour service you book, you get um, 30 minutes relaxation time. So you can go in the steam room or the jet pool before your massage. Um, I booked a massage and a rose quartz facial. And um, I asked if I could get lunch in the suite, but I don't know, cause that's what my client did, but she, she didn't seem to think that you could do that in the suite. When I, but there is a restaurant there. There's actually a hotel too. You could stay overnight, but I'm not doing the overnight thing or anything. I'm just, this is like just a day spa adventure today. So I'm just gonna review it and give you my honest opinion. Again, I'm just getting a one hour massage and the rose quartz facial. And I did do my makeup and it's just going to be taken off, but I wanted to film this video and I wanted to look cute. So anyway, uh, what else did I want to say? I don't know. You know, I worked when I first got out of beauty school, I worked for a similar place. Actually, it was the first day spa in the area. Uh, this was in the 80s. He opened, I think, like eight, late 80s, early 90s, I believe. His name was Mario and uh, it was like this Italian guy, right? And uh, it was really successful and he was like, you know, mega rich from it. So, but anyway, I worked for him for five years, but it was like a similar, um, he ran like a similar, he was the first in the area to do a day spa like this where you get, you know, before your massage, you go in the steam room, you get a robe, you're getting champagne, you're getting a mimosa, um, you know, you could get like a full spa day booked with lunch. So actually this was like his concept. So, but I never did it when I worked for him. But at the time, I feel like his spas were declining. Like they weren't as high class as they may have once been. But I've definitely been in the business. And I'm just excited to be the customer for once, you know. I work my ass off. So, this will be nice. This is the fit. Look at this cute little juicy tracksuit. It looks like I'm wearing pajamas. But I wanted to show you my purse. <laughs> it's, um, isn't it so cute? It's from TJ Maxx. It's like a cute little going out purse, but I figured it'd be perfect just to throw my, oh, isn't it opening? Oh, my credit card in and, you know, you can't fit a GUN in there or anything, but. So this is the front entrance. Don't let the sign fool you. I think it just needs to be power washed a little bit. But here's the front lobby. It's very clean and spacious and everyone at the front desk was super friendly and attentive. And there's calming spa music playing. It's very zen. And then you walk up a staircase and through this corridor and this is where all the suites are. So there's double suites, single suites. There are suites that are even fancier than the one I was in, I think. But it's just very quiet. And here's the room. As you can see, the bed is in the suite. So you're going to get your facial and your massage in the same place. And they greet you uh, with complimentary glass of champagne or mimosa and a piece of chocolate. Hello. I picked the mimosa. And they just have anything that you could think of. There's a, a kettle for tea. Um, there's plenty of water in the room. They have the jet tub going for you when you walk in. There's Epsom salts you can put in the tub. With the foam, it's like a butler service. So if you need anything, you can just call the front desk and they'll get it for you. This is the steam shower. It was so nice. I'll show you later in the video how the water sprays from the side of the shower and the top. It's like a rainfall mist. It was very relaxing. And then you get your own bathroom to change into. I thought this was funny. They made a note that I may want a snack. They do offer snacks like cheese or like a fruit tray. Um, here they have anything you might need like lotion, hair gel, deodorant hairspray a hair dryer and um I, oh i want to show you the geo there were so many geos in the room you know i love that okay and you get your own robe to change into and it's nice because your bathroom's right there too 
more geos but um i feel like i constantly am peeing because i'm drinking so much water so it was so nice to have the bathroom right there you didn't have to like wander out into a hallway near bathrobe or anything so and you get your own closet to put all your belongings in the closet does lock if you need it to and i'm getting ready to go into the jet tub and the jet tub did seem super clean because I'm kind of weird about hot tubs. So I was a little nervous, but, and I loved how it changed color. These are the little Epsom salts um, you can put in. I tried to be cute at first, but then I just dumped the whole thing in. And I was going to enjoy my chocolate while I was in the bathtub. And it's just so nice to have that extra relaxation time. Oh, hi, hello. Before, um... You know, because sometimes when you go down for a massage, you really don't get, like, relaxed until the last, like, 15 minutes. So it's nice to have this time to kind of unwind. And, well, you know, when you're drinking in a hot tub, it kind of really relaxes you because something with the blood flow, the alcohol hits you a little bit faster. So anyway, I'm just enjoying the, the tub. But I wanted to pop into the steam room for a few minutes because I was having my facial first. So I figured it'd be a good way to open up my pores uh, for the facial. And um, the, the steam room was really nice. Again, like I'm not wearing any like sandals. Maybe next time I go, I would wear sandals just because I don't want to like catch anything. But everything was super clean. I'm just paranoid. But anyway, they have shampoo, conditioner. Um, they even have a razor, body wash, anything you could think of. Here's me and my towel. I'm just waiting for my facial now. And um, oh, they even give you a little pair of socks to wear if you don't want to like walk around barefoot in the room, which was cute. And there's plenty of chilled water if you get thirsty. And of course, they recommend to drink water after a massage. So and then I just hung out in this little quote-unquote reflection area <laughs> where I sat and reflected about about um I just want to be at the spa every day I don't want to work anymore I just want to be taken care of that was my reflection time so anyway um I'm getting ready for the facial I got like a really quick clip of the products like they rolled a carton with everything on it look at the little rose quartz mask and this is me post facial I feel like I look very glowy and then I had my one hour massage which was amazing oh my god it felt so good on my back and shoulders um again you're supposed to drink water and I it felt so good having all the lotions on but you get another half hour to enjoy the room so I wanted to pop back into the jet tub and I definitely wanted to try out the steam shower she put the shower on for me and you can see it's shooting out from the sides of the shower and the very top and it just felt like a nice misty kind of rainfall it felt so good then there's the handheld attachment so if you need to rinse off anywhere but it just felt so good to stand underneath it and then you know i brought all my makeup because there's a vanity you could get ready uh freshen up i just said screw it because i'm just going home and again they have all like the hair gel the hairspray and everything you would need if you wanted to you know freshen up a little bit before you leave this is just me saying goodbye to the room and then you walk back down the hallway back down the staircase to the lobby and here's a little clip of the fire pit going in the courtyard and the esthetician did leave me like a little spf and a little note that said to enjoy my day which was very sweet so we're just gonna say bye bye walden see you next time Okay, so I just got back from my spa day, and it was really nice. Um, it was definitely worth the money because it's a little bit pricier. Uh, but I will say, oh, so what I got was the rose quartz facial and the one hour massage. They're both an hour. And the girl that did my uh, rose quartz facial, her name was Madison, and she was very sweet. She was like such a sweetie and her touch was more of a light touch like very angelic like healing which was nice because where you know when your scalp gets like tinglys and you get goosebumps so that was nice it was a nice relaxing facial and then you had the rose quartz for like self-love and healing you know i'm into all that kind of stuff so i really liked like there was like a rose I only took like a little video of it, but that little mask and um, I guess she used maybe rose quartz stones at some point. It's hard to tell, you know, because they have so much, you know, they're putting on your face and you feel rollers. Oh, there was a rose quartz roller 
And then I had a massage, and I can't really remember her name who gave me the massage, but it was a woman, and I feel like she did a really nice job. Like, it was a good pressure. You know how sometimes it almost slightly even hurts a little bit, but it feels good at the same time? So, and she worked on my back. I don't know. You know how, like, I'm like, how are they making those movements? Like, you know when it just feels so good? Like, how are you doing that? So she was awesome. I really enjoyed my massage. And a tip that I saw online. So originally, I had this booked on a Friday, uh, and then I moved it to a Tuesday because uh, I was looking online and if you book Tuesday through Thursday, it's 25 off each service, like the weekends is more expensive. So I'm like, well, it doesn't really matter what day I go. So I moved it to a Tuesday, so I saved $50. So with that $50, because 10% gratuity is in included in the price and tax, but that's not enough to tip someone. So with that extra $50, you know, it evens out like 21 21 plus the 10% they already got. Um, so then they got a 20% tip and then 10 for the girl that's like orchestrating or like who sets up your room and stuff. So that's why I switched it. So I took that 50 bucks and put it towards today. So that's just a little tip. If you go Tuesday through Thursday, it's less expensive, but so anyway, I would definitely recommend the Spell of Walden, 10 out of 10. I don't have any complaints and I'm picky. Um, you know, I like, I nitpick. I'm like, oh, this, that, and that, and that, and that, but I don't have anything to say. So, anyway, I hope that this review was helpful, and I think that if you're ever in the area, you should definitely treat yourself or treat a loved one. There's actually inns, too. You could stay overnight. They have rooms. They have a restaurant, so you could go for a long weekend, but I just did this little day thing, and I loved it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Mwah.